guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel. Today I'm participating with a special Lawn Fawn Glue Dots blog hop. And so this is a project that I'm gonna be sharing on my YouTube channel and also an extra project that I'm sharing on my blog. So for my blog, I made this two sets of cards. And so if you are visiting me or joining me here on YouTube and want to see how I created these cards, make sure that you check the link in the description below so that you can see um, the instructions on how I made these Valentine cards. So for my YouTube, I wanted to share how I made these pocket or these envelopes that would be really cute to add some treats. So for example, I have some cookies here that's been wrapped and then we can gonna move that set it aside and then we can make these envelopes and we can put our little treats and then put a label in it and then this could be a good um, little gift to give uh, for Valentine's so let's get started with what we're gonna use first of all we're gonna need a one two three punch board from we are memory keepers um, I think you can do this without the this tool but it's really handy to have it um, and so that's one. And then another one is we're going to, of course, use some paper from the 6x6 six six, um, Let's Polka in the Meadow from Lawn Fawn. And then I also have some stamp, some inks from Lawn Fawn. This one is um, the Country Fair Ink Cube Pack LF1568. And it has um, Storm Cloud, Grape Soda, Bubble Gum, and Lemonade. And then I also have a stamp set and then a die set from Lawn Fawn. This one is the Now You Bean um, Conversation Heart add-on. And then this one is the Stitch Labels from Lawn Fawn. And then from Glue Dots, I have a removable adhesive and then the Craft Dots. So those are the ones that I'm going to use. And then a little bit of twine just regular twine so that um, I can add a little bit of texture on my project. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want to point out is there's there's two different kinds of envelope or pouches that um, we can make with a six by six pad. We can make the re rectangular one, which comes out to about, let me double check here. It comes out to three and three and a half. And then, or we can do a square, which is three by three. So um, you can always look, if you have the, this particular tool, the one, two, three punch board, you can always look at the um, envelopes sizes over here so you can know what kind of paper size and then what card size it would eventually create. So because I only have a six by six paper, um, I wanted to make sure that my the paper size that I am going to cut is going to be at six or less than. So I've decided to do the three by three and so it says that I needed a five and a half inch paper size and so that's what I did here. I've cut this really cute hard pink white hearts on pink paper and then I'm just going to turn that because I would like to have the folds going onto the front and it says to punch it at two and three quarters. So let me see if I can do this. So there's my two and then there's my three quarter. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score at A and then at B and I'm also going to punch. And then I'm going to turn the paper and align this second line over to this score line and then I'm going to punch it and then I'm going to do the same. Okay, so if you are just doing a regular envelope, you are going to have to just do one line. But since we want a pouch that can fit our cookie or whatever treat we want, that's why we're doing two lines. Okay, and then we're going to round the corners 
you don't have to do this step, but just because I have the tool, I am going to do it. And now we're going to set aside our punch board and clean up our surface. Sorry about the shake. And then now we're going to use our bone folder again and make sure that we get all the creases perfect. Because this project is so easy to make, you can even make this not just for Valentine's treats, but for Halloween, for Christmas, even for like party favors. So now we have our pouch there. And so I want to, of course, close this three folds with some kind of permanent adhesive. And so for me to do that, I am actually just going to grab a craft dot. This is my favorite adhesive to use especially for kid projects because they can do it themselves and it's just one dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that on the center and then peel off the plastic and then I'm going to bring this other side over it and that's all I need. Now there's a little bit of adhesive showing, but that's okay. I actually want that there. And so with when you're done with this part, you're going to slip your cookie. And then you are going to use, instead of permanent adhesive, I like to use the removable so that my recipient, it would be easy for them to open up the treat box and that it wouldn't ruin the whole box or the the pouch and that's it now of course to decorate it I'd like to stamp a little bit so I used this stitch label die and cut this one out with my die cut machine like so and then I'm going to grab I grabbed the solid heart and also the one that said made with love and I'm going to stamp that with some ink pads and I think I'm going to do the grape and the storm cloud. So let me zoom in. Okay, so now that I have put my stamps on a stamp block, and then I'm just going to ink up my sentiment here. And then I want to do it. did the greeting on one side and then I'm going to grab the heart get up a little bit and then put my heart right next to it and these are dye inks so they're a little bit blotchy in the beginning but then they will solid they would the color will um, turn out okay or would solidify after a little bit. So there you have it. And so now because I want this to not ruin my box or my pouch, I am going to adhere it with some more of the removable adhesive. And then I'm going to tie that, but I mean, I'm going to put that in there. But before that, I want to tie a little bit of ribbon all around this just to give it of that special homemade look grab some scissors snip that and then tie the ends into a simple bow if I can grab the ends there you go So this is so fun to make and you can make one or 100 as you can see it was so quick to put it together. 
So now that I have my bow right there, and then I could come back and adhere my little label. So there you have it, some really cute and easy cookie pouches or treat pouches for Valentine's using some Lawn Fawn products and glue dots. If you have any questions, make sure that you leave it in the comment section below if you are on my YouTube channel. Otherwise, you can leave a comment on my blog and I will catch you guys another day. Bye.